All right, guys, I'm going to do an updated video on the AU Car Android 9 inch uh, head unit. I have already done one review or run demo, um, but that was about 30 minutes after I installed it, so I didn't know a whole lot about it yet. So I'm going to kind of run through the whole thing and give everybody a demo after I've got it all tweaked and tuned and everything else. So we'll go ahead and start it up. Okay, you'll see that I changed the screen. Uh, this is the boot up screen, and here a little bit in the video I'll show you how to uh, change that. Uh, so you could uh, put whatever boot up screen you want. Okay, now that it's booted up, um, now you'll see these controls come up. Um, those come up. They don't. They have no function. Um, so there's. You don't need to worry about them. It disappears and they don't come back until you start it back up. Okay, you'll see on the. Um, <clears throat> my main screen that it is different than uh, when I first got it. Um, what I did, I installed the Car Launcher Pro uh, screen launcher, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, you'll see that um, I have the, I loaded the uh, Maserati emblem. That's just an Amazon little thing that pop up that came on from my Amazon app that I have installed. Um, but what I did, I um, downloaded the Maserati emblem and, and was able to set it. And then when you push it, it goes to a, a clock and then you could do your miles per hour. And then you have all your, I could add all my apps and stuff that I want to for quick, uh, to access quickly. Uh, also here I could put all my all my mu music items right there and then <clears throat> I did get, download Google and Google Assistant and everything so I could do all the voice stuff right by just pushing that um, and then you have your settings um, like right now I have Pandora that I run you'll see that I'm running a Wi-Fi I run a Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone so I don't tether my phone or anything um, as far as uh, with a USB cord or Android Auto or Apple CarPlay or anything like that. Um, I simply just uh, use my uh, deal. And see, once you start up Pandora, it goes back to this screen. And you'll see it has the album cover over here. What, um, what's playing up here, you'll see it says Tuesday, uh, February 11th. Hit it one more time. It says location not defined, but it will find me here. Um, and it, usually it'll tell me what my address is right there. It's kind of cool. Um, let's see, we'll pause that. Um, okay. Okay, now to access all the apps in the Car Launcher Pro is just right up here. And here's all your, all your apps and everything. Now, if you want to go back to the stock launcher, you just go right here where it says launcher, hit it, and now we're back to the um, main screen there. So um, this is this is like when you first when you get it, it's going to be just like this. Um, go over and there's all your all your apps and everything. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to go to um, kind of start here. Obviously, you have your navigation, uh, which is Google, and it's updated to the current Google. <clears throat> and this will run offline or online. Now, when it's running offline, it works really well, but when you have it online, you'll get like the Explorer. Um, you know, you push something, it'll give you the uh, phone numbers, uh, you know, websites. Um, the reviews, all that, so it'll be full function. But however, it will work just fine uh, without being on Wi-Fi. Just it it runs off, um, offline. Um, so we'll go back. Uh, here's your car info. 
this is where everybody was um, wondering about the car settings and stuff, but I'll start up here. Here's the um, the car info. Here, here's your fuel range remainder, uh, 218 miles distance. That's my um, current mileage I have on my car right now. And then you have your mileage A and your mileage B, and it mimics, it shows what's on the dash. And here's the car settings. This is kind of where um, where this um, unit shines as far as not having to take the OEM unit and put it in the trunk or retain it or anything. It has everything in here. Um, so you have your speed limit, um, speed limit activation, your temperature, Fahrenheit, fuel consumption, instrument uh, panel buzzer volume, automatic door locks. I have them off. Um, uh, only unlocking the driver's door. I have that off. Independent trunk lid locking. Now, when my first got this unit, it was set to on, so I could not open my trunk. I had to go in here and set it to off, and I was able to do that. Uh, uh, stop and go parking sensors. Once again, when I got this, it was off. I had to activate it because I like my parking sensors to work. Uh, the easy entry activation. Got that on. Um, twilight sensor set. You, you kind of get a. You kind of get. Uh, uh, the sense of it now. The service cycle and maintenance days, <clears throat> I, it's it remains at zero. However, um, don't worry because when all your information is stored in your ECU, so your green um, wrench will still come up when there's a service due. The the yellow, the red, everything will come up. Um, so your service cycle here. I, you don't really need that because when you do need service, you're going to get the green wrench because that's in the ECU. That's not in the radio. They don't put that kind of information in the radio, in the even in the OEM one. It just says service cycle. Basically, um, you you could set those and you could set those through a scanner and stuff. So don't worry about that. That's irrelevant. Uh, and then we have the Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is off right now. Um, it does it does work connect. I don't use the Bluetooth. I I just don't use it. But I have tested it. I have worked it. It it runs. It works just fine. You can see it's searching right now, but it won't find me. As soon as I turn my Bluetooth on, it connect. Um, and then you have your radio. If you can miss the winning dunk and cost your team. Okay. Uh, the radio. It's just something you want to play around with. I guess the, the main thing that I have here is this one over here is your EQ, uh, which which goes into your settings, and I'll get to that later. Um, I have mine set just the way I like it. The loudness on, now it's kind of important to have that uh, loudness on because when you have the loudness off, the rear speakers, you don't have you have very little sound going to the rear speakers. So when your loudness is on, uh, you have it. Now, uh, you could go in and you could adjust your, where you want your, where you want it all. Now, if you were to hit that right there, if I hit that right there, it puts everything back to stock. So, just so you know, when you push that, it puts everything back to stock. Which I don't like, so I'll just kind of put these where I want loudness on. Okay, so we'll get back out of that. Okay, we'll get out of the radio, and we can go back to the settings here in a little bit. Uh, music. Um, this now you could you could do a, um, a USB stick and plug it into one of the USBs if you have music downloaded to that your USB. I think that's where you use that. I don't. I won't use that. Um, and then of course your apps list. Okay, so here's all your apps. Here's the apps that I have. Here's my car launcher that I downloaded Chrome. Um, this that's the that's the my car launcher skin I guess you can call it. Um, you have your compass driving recorder. Now I did um, install the USB um, dash cam and inside the dash cam when you install it you it actually has the APK software to download so we'll go into that real quick and you'll see that it's um, 
recording right now. Shut that off. Um, and you could stop the recording. You could take a photo. So I just took a photo. Um, you'll see how my garage is kind of dirty. <laughs> a little bit messed up. Um, you go on here. Let's see. It shrinks it down. But you could go to um, the plus sign here. It goes to your settings, your format, your... And I have a 28 gigabyte little micro SD card. So, it, and it records three minutes at a time. So you could go in here at any time. You could look at your images or you could look at your video. So we can go back and there I'm playing. That's from the other day. That's me backing out. Getting ready to leave the house. So anyhow, that, that's really cool. I, I, I just absolutely um, love this dash cam. I think it's really, really cool. Really cool. So we'll back out of that. So that just kind of gives you a little bit about the uh, dash cam. Um, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be neat going to car shows and stuff and re doing cruises and things like that. So um, let's see. We'll go back out of that. Okay, so I have Amazon Music. Um, this is preloaded. Uh, longitude, latitude. Now it does. It, this is in miles. I don't know. What, it, I don't. You can't change it, but it is what it is. Uh, it has a speedometer. Whoops! It has a speedometer and a, an attack on it. Um, there's my, I, you have to download Google Assistant um, and then you could use the, from the car launcher, you could use all the um, Google Assistant voice commands. Um, auxiliary, now this is, I don't have this hooked up yet. This is gonna be my front cam. I have my front cam wired and it's tucked under the dash. As soon as I do my major service, when I take all those panels out, I'm gonna run my wiring uh, and get the front dash cam. So this is where you'll do your front cam. Um, on that, go back. Um, there's your Bluetooth again. Bluetooth music. Of course, I don't have my Bluetooth hooked up. Uh, the DVR. Now, the DVR is a is an option. There, you'll, you'll see that you have some. Uh, different inputs on the main harness and I'm sure that's how you do that but there's a kit you could buy that it's it's a separate kit for a, a DVR for this so I did not purchase that so I won't ever use that um, let's see let's see what we're doing here okay um, easy connection um, that is So I can mirror my phone, and, and it works very well. Um, I'm not going to do it because I'm recording with my phone, but you just take your USB cord, plug it into your USB port, and plug it into your phone, and I, you load Easy Connect on your phone, and it instantly basically mirrors it. So one, if any of you guys watch Kodi, um, this unit will not, it'll download Kodi, but I can't get it to open up. However, on my phone, I have Kodi, and it works quite well. Um, so you could actually watch Cody, you could watch live TV or sports or anything you want on your phone and mirror it on here using Easy Connection. Um, now you'll you'll see, I'll swing it down here. I did uh, put the two ports in here. I took the cigarette lighter out and run the port so I don't have to run any USB cords um, out of my glove box. So that's just kind of a neat, that was $10. That was just very cheap. Took about 30 minutes to to install it, um, it was it was very 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 simple. So I get my camera to say, um, and then we have uh, obviously Gmail, um, your ES File Explorer. That's where all your files are and everything, all that good stuff. Uh, so, I mean, that's how, that's just kind of, you know, everything in here. Uh, towards internal storage, you'll see that, 53 gigabyte left. Back. Oh, I guess I need to go back here.
There we go. Well, we'll go back to the launcher where we were. My car, my everything is so cold in here, so my screen's not quite as responsive as, as it should be, just because it is freezing cold in here. Um, okay, um, so get that. You got Gmail, Google. Uh, you download that with your Google Assistant also. Uh, the HD video player, so you can use a USB stick, and you could um, play. You could load movies on a USB stick. This has a little bit of Fast and Furious preloaded in it, just to give you a, a taste of what it is. Um, and then we have um, the music player. Same thing. You could download music to a USB stick and plug it in. My Pandora. You have your Play Store. One thing to do, guys, uh, when you do, make sure and go up here to the corner. My apps. Checking for updates. So I have three updates right now. So I'm going to hit update all. So make sure and do this, you know, once a week. I do it daily on my phone or whenever I get in here. I usually, that's the first thing I do is update because I like all my apps to be... Um, you know, ready, ready to go and optimize and all this and that. So, get my camera set here a little better. Okay, while well, those are downloading in the background, we'll keep going. I have Prime Video, uh, so I have Amazon Prime, so I can watch. Um, I don't, you know, of course, when I'm standing still and not driving, we have all of, all of those. Um, that's the radio. That's the same radio that's in your that's in the main the other screen. Uh, there's your settings. We'll go back to it in just a second. Um, here's the Torque app. And if any of you guys ordered uh, one of the USB or excuse me the the OBD2 readers, uh, this is a Wi-Fi version. It's kind of neat. Um, I'll plug I plug it in, play with it. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, but obviously I don't leave it in because I'm running I'm running my Wi-Fi all the time But it's something cool to put on and, and kind of play with all the time, you know Whenever you're you want some neat and and and, and I got the torque pro Ways of course YouTube YouTube's music Zedge Z-Link uh, I don't use Z-Link. It's for Apple CarPlay and stuff and you, you could actually use it for Android Auto, too um, I guess I did I did hook up. I did do that. I did hook up my um, my phone USB, and and I did run the um, Apple or excuse me the Android. Um, we'll see if we could try it here real quick. Okay, I'm not sure. Like I, said, I I'm not sure if this will work or not. I just don't know. I've just never connect automatically. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to use this. I think I've hooked it up once and I, I got my Apple CarPlay or excuse me, my Android Auto, but it's I mean this thing does way more than Android Auto, so anyhow. Um I do have it plugged in and I'm charging now, so I'll go back out of it. We'll go back out of it. Okay, a lot of guys are using Apple CarPlay. Um, I happen to have an Apple. I think it's an iPhone Seven that I that I have here. It's just a Wi-Fi only one. Um, but anyhow, um, what you do? You go into Z-Link. That's preloaded on the unit. It comes up and. Plug in the USB. You're gonna see, I'm not an iPhone user, so we're gonna see how how it works here. Okay. Trust that computer. Okay, notice, please insert your phone to the USB OTG socket. So I have it plugged into one. I'm going to have to plug it into the uh, the other socket. So if it does come up, you just do it in the other one. 
Okay, I plugged it into the other socket. Like I say, there's one socket that works and one that doesn't work for this. And there you go, there's your Apple CarPlay. Um, so, there it is. I'm not sure exactly how all it works, but you have everything for your Apple CarPlay. It's pretty simple. Like I say, just remember, you have uh, this unit has two USB ports. Uh, one is uh, will do, I think, about anything, and then the, the other one, it'll give you that message, and you just have to switch it over to the, um, the iPhone, the other one, the o OTG, I believe is what they called it, um, and it, it, it works pretty darn good, so no problem. That was, it was that simple. I'm not an iPhone user, and I just grabbed an iPhone. Um, one thing you have to do, you make, make sure Siri is enabled. Other than that, that's it. Okay, now let's go into the settings and I'll go over some of the settings with you. Um, navigation, uh, I'm not sure what all that is. I just leave it alone. When I downloaded the Waze and stuff, it it downloaded the Waze there. Okay, equalizer, I've gone over that. Um, uh, let's see the dimmer so nighttime dim daytime dim pretty easy self-explanatory on that um, language date and time very simple uh, system info tells you to run 8.1 uh, what your memory is and all that okay user settings here we go um, Auto run Navi off. Um, nav volume, you can adjust your volume here. Track line, not sure what that is. Park sound by default. I just left that the way it came. Radar display, touch assistance on. Uh, touch tone, I have that off. Because uh, when you first get it, there's it's loud beeps and everything. So I just sh sh shut all that off. Um, Uh, temperature set to Fahrenheit, uh, reset brake when down, brake detect, uh, output image display. Here's your USB settings. You can do charge only or mobile connection. You make, make sure they're on mobile connection, or otherwise your data won't go. Auto run uh, car auto when uh, your phone is connected, off, background process, frequency. That's just uh, stuff. Uh, that really don't need to uh, worry about. Okay, and after the user settings, um, we have the install set. This is where kind of uh, you guys need to know about. The code is 8861. Now, for the most part, I'm going to leave most of this alone. However, um, to change the the boot up screen, you go up here, and those are your boot up screens and uh, your different ones, and that's the one I have right there. So it looks like there's just three. I'm sure there's a way you could probably download um, download one, but. I, I, I don't know how, so, um, but anyhow, I'm sure you can. Some of you guys might, might know how to do that. Um, okay, whoops, go back into there. Okay, I guess we're here. Um, now, don't touch any of that. I suppose it's set to where it should be. Uh, power off display. A lot of these things I did not touch. Um... There, this will support a 360 uh, camera, which I actually have one, but I'm not going to install. The installation is way too difficult, even for me. So I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna sell it. I have a front cam, a rear cam, and a dash cam. I think I have enough cams. Um, let's see. Let's get down to your gains here now. You'll see all these uh, gains right here, the radio gain, the music, the movie, and all that. Now, 
uh, you want to set you want to set these down uh, when they come they're they're way up here um, and that's why when you go from zero to one on your volume it, it, it's 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 either nothing or it's loud where here here's where you set all your gains and you want to move all these down um, I recommend moving all of them down so um, I have mine set clear down on on that side um, but it, there's a few settings here I'm not gonna mess with those um, these are all kind of preset um, however it is um, it is very important to set your your gains that, that was a huge improvement a lot of complaints about the volume and stuff and that's how you fix that so I'm gonna get out of that um, I don't want to mess with any more in there whoops uh, sorry about that let's go back to settings um, so after you have your install set you have more settings uh, this is your Android settings these are so this is like what's on your tablet or your phone any Android tablet or phone those are your main settings there okay we'll go back out of that go back out of that and I guess I think that's about all I could think of to go over um, so like I say it, it's it's I think it's really nice to have the uh, this car launcher here I think it's way way nicer it, it is just more modern looking than what they what it comes preloaded with so and there's different car launchers out there there's there's a few different ones that are real popular but I think this one is one of this is one of the neatest ones and you could go in and change the theme so there's about five different faces and themes you could do you could fully customize this um, you could add all this other stuff here I mean there, there there's a lot to lot to add on here and a lot to do on here um, you'll see that this is the this is your USB that means I have something plugged into my USB port which is my cam and then the Bluetooth emblem will come up there another thing uh, you could go into this button here and you Android guys know this uh, you could go in and just and shut everything close all the apps so you don't want to have a bunch of different apps open and running all the time um, it'll run a lot smoother if you're not using everything at one time so um, well, I hope this helps out, and um, that was just kind of a little more in-depth uh, view of of how everything works. Um, I was, I'm, I'm very impressed with the, uh, on the most part, I think that the sound is way improved than what um, the the factory one is. So it's just. It's just way better. The the graphics on here are wonderful. Um, I think it's it's just a great addition to um, to our cars. So, um, like I say, I hope this helps out a little bit. Thanks a lot.